How would you like to have some green onions or bunching onions and never have to buy any ever again? If you'll follow these simple instructions, you're going to have green onions from now on. A friend of mine gave me these bunching onions about eight or ten years ago. They multiplied so well that I kept dividing them up and I put them in different places throughout my garden. Today, I'm going to dig these back up, I'm going to divide them, and I'm going to put them back in the place where I originally planted them. They did really well there. And I'm going to free up a little bit of space here in my garden. This is a seed pod. If you let that mature and burst open, it will plant more onions all around where this original mother plant is. However, you really don't want that to happen. And I'm going to show you why in just a little bit. Right now, I'm going to dig these up and I'm going to divide them. But the first thing you do may surprise you. When my friend gave me the first bunch, she said, cut them way back. And she emphasized it, and I mean way back. So I'm only leaving about two inches here above the roots. Now I'm going to clean those up, slice them up and freeze them, and they'll be great for soups. Now that I've cut them back, I'm going to dig them up and divide them. So you see we have lots of onions started here and what they do is they just keep multiplying from the inside. Here's a new one starting, a really young one and another really young one here. Here are some that I cut back just a week ago. See how they grow back? So you're not going to hurt them. I only need a few of these for our salad tonight. So you just cut down in between the roots. Pull them out. You've got green onions. So I'm going to cut the rest of these way back because they're making seed heads and that actually slows them up from dividing at the bottom. So it's kind of like they're going to do one or the other. If you let them go to seed, that's how they're going to reproduce. But if you cut them way back, they will divide and keep going from the bottom. I'm going to take you over to where I originally had planted them and I'll show you what happens when you let the seed heads burst open and spread their seeds around. This barrel right here is where I had the original ones planted. They didn't look like that and I'll explain that in a minute. But I transferred a lot of them out to the garden and I left some in here. And I kind of neglected the ones that I had left in this barrel. And they grew those seed pods and they burst and they began to sprout inside the other barrels that you see here. But they also spread their seeds right into the grass that's around here. Let me see if I can get this in focus. 
this here, this is onions. This is grass. This is onions. Here's some more and some more. They've been spreading a little bit further out into the yard here. And I've just kind of let them go because I really don't care. But I want to show you that you're not going to get any onions out of these. That's it. That's all you're going to get. They're not near as big as these that have been cut back and let regrow and bunch out from the bottom. And they don't make an onion bulb. So just for kicks, I replanted some and cared for them just to see what would happen. And look, you're already making seed heads. So I'm going to move these little wild strawberries to the side. They're from another state, and I kind of figured they wouldn't do so well here. But there you go. That's the only, that's as big as you get right there. Now, I guess I had nothing better to do one day, and I dug some up, and I, I made all these little tiny pearl onions, and had them as a garnish in one of our soups and gravy. But really and truly, that's it. Even if you try to nurse them and grow them, that's all you're going to get. So what I'm going to do is transfer these back into these barrels. Strawberries and onions grow together very well, and quite honestly, most of my wild berries here have died off, and they didn't do anything anyway, so I'm thinking I'll just go ahead and plant the onions in between them, and if they continue to die off, that's okay. So just divide them up, tease them apart here. And you're only going to bury them about that deep. That original bunch of bunching onions did better here than the ones that I've transferred out into the garden. And since this is mostly soil from the garden, the only thing I can figure uh, about why they're doing better here is, well, it's partially shaded here most of the day. So maybe they just prefer partial shade. I'm not real sure on that. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I'm thinking. Don't let your bunching onions go to seed. Cut them back, split them up, and transplant them. That way, you'll have green onions for years to come. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. You won't want to miss all the other things that I talk about throughout the year. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me.